To adjust the limits on a daylight screen with a motor and roller design, you must first gain access to the motor assembly located on the left-hand side as you are facing the screen case. Refer to the instructions of your specific model for details on accessing the motor. The switch labeled down is used to adjust the bottom limit, and the switch labeled up will adjust the top limit. The colors of these switches may vary depending on your model screen. The screen surface on a typical screen will unroll from the back of the roller. If your screen unrolls from the front of the roller, you may have a masking screen or a custom product. If this is the case, please contact one of our sales partners for assistance in adjusting your screen limits. To adjust the bottom limit for less screen drop, raise the screen surface and turn the down limit switch clockwise toward the minus symbol. Run the screen down to test the stop position. If the screen drops too far, raise the screen about one foot and adjust the limit switch again. To increase the amount of screen drop, turn the down limit switch counterclockwise toward the plus symbol. You can also place your wall switch in the down position and the screen will move in increments as you turn the limit switch. Do not adjust for more drop than what was ordered. At least one and a half wraps of fabric must remain on the roller. If your screen travels too far into the case, lower the screen surface at least one foot and turn the up limit switch clockwise toward the minus symbol to decrease the amount of travel. Run the screen up to test the stop position. If the screen does not stop properly and still goes too far into the case, lower the screen and turn the limit switch again. If the screen does not travel far enough into the case, turn the up limit switch counterclockwise toward the plus symbol. You can also place your wall switch in the up position and the screen will move in increments as you turn the limit switch.